Hello, how's everybody? Welcome to our kitchen. We're gonna be doing a really cool recipe today. It's easy, doesn't take long, and it's extremely rewarding. <clears throat> what I'm making today is gonna to be crema de vie, which in Spanish translates to cream of life. Um, it's Cuban eggnog, and I've told people about this that don't come from the South Florida area, they're not familiar with it. Uh, but if you go to the supermarket, you buy like a carton of eggnog, and after you've had this, you'll pour it down the sink. It's amazing. So in any case, here we go. Let's start at the beginning. Uh, we don't need many ingredients. What we need, you need two cups of sugar, one cup of water. I have that in here. Uh, what, what we've already done to speed the process up here is I've already, what I did is I boiled the water and when you boil the water, it dissolves the sugar. And you can tell it's dissolved because you look in it and it's no longer, it's clear. So that, then, that means it's done. Take it off and let it cool off for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, whatever, uh, until it's cooled down. This is, this is pretty much cooled down. The next thing I have over here are six egg yolks. Egg yolks. Can you say egg yolks? Yeah. All right. So we've got six egg yolks. Uh, I've got pure vanilla extract. A teaspoon of that. And we don't have a teaspoon, but we have another one. To the rescue. Da, 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 da. Daniel will be amazed that I close the, the doors. I never do. And she always says, you never close, close the it. damn doors. See, there you go. <laughs> All right. You need a teaspoon? Yeah, because I'm, there we go. Do you know where the teaspoons are? I just use one. Oh, that's, okay. Well, that's a. Okay, so we put the Not a traditional teaspoon. teaspoon. You're in the way. Here's a teaspoon. <laughs> that's about how much that. If you would like a teaspoon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm all set there. Okay. Thanks. All right. That might help. All right, we have some, some cinnamon. Cinnamon's which, right here. Which is the, the actual legal name for a dog. We call her Zinni. Because she doesn't have any cinnamon on cinnamon. her at all. Come here. Cinnamon, come here. Can I get my video? I oh, know, come here. <laughs> she just muscled in. So we have the two of these these people. I told him I wasn't going to be in the video. Yeah, and here she but... is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got some cinnamon here. Yep. Give that a decent sh decent shake. I also have some nutmeg, ground nutmeg. You don't want to use one of those sticks. A couple of shakes of that. That's good. Then we have condensed milk sweetened. This is uh, 14 ounces. We're putting that in the blender with the eggs and everything else. I didn't say we needed a blender, but you can see we need a blender. Yeah, there we go. It's thick and it's slow, but you know, that's the way it is. Now, I'm doing this in, in particular for our friends up north who are expecting this big winter storm. This is a good way to get through it. All right, there's that one. And then over here, we have evaporated milk. This is 16 ounces of, uh, 12 ounces, excuse me. It's not really behaving. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, it behaves very well in the end. Much, much better than its sibling. The, the condensed milk. The evaporated milk. I mean, I never got that evaporated milk. If it's evaporated, how did it get in here? You know? Put that down there. It evaporated and then it reappeared. Right. Okay, so now we have this in here. Now, you can put in as much rum as you like. But don't do the recipe without rum and don't under rum it. You want at least one cup, one and a half, two cups is good. It's not a real word. <laughs> Just right. using you. So I got one third, one, one, and, a, one and three quarters. A 
and dump that in there. And as this is a dark rum, I'm using a, uh, a dark Bacardi. The, the Cuban slash Puerto Rican rums are the best ones to use for this because they're made for blending. They're, it's, if you get like a fine rum, there's no point in putting it in here. This is, this is a good rum. It's aged four years. Añejo Cuatro uh, means four, aged four years. Okay, so that's that Bacardi. But any of the any of the Cuban rums, preferably dark. Some people like to put in spiced rum, but this thing doesn't need it. All right, so then put the cap on it. here is I'm going to pour it into the water and the sugar that we dissolve which by the way the English name for that is called simple syrup if you ever want to make simple syrup just do a two to one mixture of water and sugar two on the high on the sugar one on the water all right basically we are now done what I'm going to do is chill this down and then we'll have it probably, uh, most likely tomorrow, I think. Yeah. So there you go. Crema de Vie. If you look at it, it's C-R-E-M-A. Crema. And then the next word is de. D-E. Vie. V-I-E. It's not V. That's French. Same spelling. Same word. But it's pronounced Vie. Spanish is easy because you pronounce every letter. Unlike French. The name Jacques. First three letters you pronounce. J-A-C. Jacques. Q-U-E-S. Four letters you don't pronounce. I thought English was bad. All right, now it's a beautiful language. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy it. Make it at home. Fortify yourself against the cold and the winter storm with this. This is how, this is how you do it. And with you guys, it's going to be easy because all you have to do is set it out in your backyard. Just open up the back door, stick it out there. Half hour later, it's ready. Take care. Thanks so much. This is Key West Chris signing off, and my 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 uh, my partner there, Danny, and our hello, and, and our dog Zinni. Thanks so much. Enjoy. So good morning. It's a beautiful morning in Key West. Uh, I didn't check the time. I think it's. I have my phone in my pocket. I have my other phone, my old phone. 9.03 in the morning, Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day here in Key West. It's 74 degrees. Really couldn't ask for anything better. And we have our eggnog right here. Our crema de vie. I'm going to try it right now. Wow. It's a good recipe. Trust me. Yep, that's a good one. So in any case, the, our friends up north were kind of spared. They didn't get nearly as much snow as they were expecting. Good. However, there's another storm on the way. Uh, they, they're saying midweek it'll hit the eastern seaboard. Uh, so you have time to get out. And if you didn't have all the ingredients, now you have the time to go out and get it. Prepare. Have some eggnog. Cheers. Good morning. Cuban eggnog, crema de vie. Enjoy. Thanks.